56 American Pit Bull Terrier facts every owner should know. Number 1. Boasting a robust physique and unexpected agility, American Pit Bull Terriers typically fall within the medium-sized category of dogs, standing ideally between 17 and 21 inches tall at their shoulders and weighing between 30 to 60 pounds. Number 2. The head of the American Pit Bull Terrier is a defining characteristic crucial to the breed's identity. Overall, their head displays a finely sculpted look that harmoniously blends strength, elegance, and distinctive character. Number 3. The American Pit Bull Terrier features a substantial skull which can be either flat or slightly rounded. It is notably wide and deep between the ears, and when seen from above, the skull gradually tapers toward the stop. There is also a distinct furrow running down the center of their skull. Number 4. This breed typically has medium-sized round eyes that are positioned low on the skull. All eye colors are permissible except for blue, which is regarded as a significant fault. Number 5. The American Pit Bull Terrier's ears are ideally set high and can be either natural or cropped, with no preference for either prick or flat. Wide ears are considered an undesirable characteristic in this breed. Number 6. These dogs are recognized by their prominent nose, which feature wide, open nostrils. The nose can come in any color without any specific preferences. Number 7. American Pit Bull Terriers showcase a wide and deep muzzle with a gradual taper from the stop, where the forehead meets the muzzle to the nose. This profile includes a slight curve beneath the eyes, and the lips are notably clean and tightly fitting. Number 8. This breed is characterized by a complete set of white teeth, evenly spaced and meeting in a scissor spite. This means that when the mouth is closed, the upper and lower teeth overlap in a manner resembling scissors. Number 9. With a neck that is of moderate length and muscularity, these guys feature a gentle arch at the crest. Their neck gradually broadens from its connection with the skull and smoothly integrates into well-set, sloping shoulders. Additionally, the skin on the neck is firm and lacks a dewlap. Number 10. These dogs have elongated, broad, and well-angled shoulder blades that play a pivotal role in their muscular physique and agility. Their upper arms are of comparable length to the shoulder blades, creating a nearly right-angle connection. Number 11. The forelegs of this breed are sturdy and muscular, with elbows positioned close to the body. Their pasterns are brief, robust, and nearly vertical in profile, further enhancing their overall strength and physical capabilities. Number 12. The American Pit Bull Terrier showcases a chest that is deep and generously broad, offering ample room for the heart and lungs to function effectively. Their forechest does not extend notably beyond the point of the shoulder. Number 13. This breed exhibits a robust and solid back, featuring an almost level top line that gracefully slopes downward from the withers to a muscular back. Number 14. The American Pit Bull Terrier showcases powerful and well-muscled hindquarters that are moderately wide. The rump is well-rounded on both sides of the tail and deep from the pelvis to the crotch area. Number 15. These guys have rounded feet that are appropriately sized for their bodies. These feet exhibit a well-arched shape and a compact, firm structure with sturdy, durable, and well-cushioned paw pads. Number 16. Their tail is a continuation of the top line, narrowing to a point. This tail typically hangs low when at ease, aligns with the back during movement, and might rise when excited. Keep in mind that it should never curl over the back. Number 17. The American Pit Bull Terrier usually has a sleek, shiny coat that feels moderately stiff when touched. Coats that are curly, wavy, or sparse are considered faults, and long coats are grounds for disqualification in the breed standard. Number 18. The American Pit Bull Terrier can exhibit a wide range of colors, color patterns, or combinations, except for merle. Albinism and merle are disqualification within the breed standards. Number 19. Pit Bull puppies are born with wrinkled foreheads, but as they grow older, these wrinkles typically smooth out and they develop a more typical appearance. The reason behind this physical change is not fully understood by science, and it remains a somewhat mysterious aspect of their development. Number 20. Pit bulls are typically a healthy breed, often enjoying an average lifespan of 12 to 14 years. However, like all dogs, they can be prone to certain common health conditions. Number 21. These dogs can be susceptible to hypothyroidism, a condition marked by inadequate thyroid hormone production. This condition can potentially result in various health problems and behavioral changes. Number 22. American Pit Bull Terriers, like all dogs, are also vulnerable to bacterial and viral infections such as parvovirus, rabies, and distemper. Number 23. Obesity is a significant health concern for American Pit Bull Terriers. It's a serious condition that can exacerbate a range of health issues, including joint problems, metabolic and digestive disorders, back pain, and even heart disease. 
Number 24. Progressive retinal atrophy is an inherited disease that leads to progressive blindness in dogs due to the degeneration of the retina. Unfortunately, American Pit Bull Terriers have a slightly higher predisposition to this condition compared to some other dog breeds. Number 25. The American Pit Bull Terrier breed has a higher incidence of hip dysplasia compared to the average. Some other issues include patellar problems, thyroid dysfunction, and congenital heart defects. Number 26. The term pit bull is used informally to describe a broader category of dogs and is largely applied to multiple breeds. However, there is a perspective held by some breeders, experts, and supporters that historically, the American Pit Bull Terrier is the sole authentic pit bull breed. Number 27. Pit bull terriers have a historical background deeply rooted in blood sports such as bull and bear baiting in the United Kingdom. When these brutal practices were banned in 1835, dog fighting emerged as a substitute due to its lower cost and greater ease of concealment. This transition marked a significant shift in the breed's history and purpose. Number 28. Following the ban on blood sports in the UK, dog fighting continued to take place covertly in various parts of the country for many decades. Eventually, these dogs were brought to America between 1845 and 1860, where the practice of dog fighting persisted. Number 29. Until the mid-19th century, breeders intentionally crossed Old English Terriers and Old English Bulldogs to create a new breed that combined the tenacity and courage of Terriers with the strength and athleticism of Bulldogs. Number 30. On 10th of February 1898, the breed was officially recognized by the United Kennel Club under the name American Pit Bull Terrier. Number 31. In 1935, the Bull and Terrier strain from Credley Heath was officially registered as the Staffordshire Bull Terrier by the Kennel Club in England. A year later, the American Kennel Club noticed the growing popularity of a similar breed, the American Pit Bull Terrier, which had already been registered by the United Kennel Club. AKC then decided to recognize the American breed, but with a condition. Breeders were required not to engage in dogfighting practices promoting responsible breeding. Number 32. The AKC initially considered naming the breed American Bull Terrier, but abandoned the idea due to protests from English Bull Terrier breeders. Yankee Terrier was another option, but it was also dismissed. Eventually, they settled on Staffordshire Terrier. Number 33. In 1972, a significant change took place when the AKC renamed the breed as the American Staffordshire Terrier. Later on, AKC recognized the breed Staffordshire Bull Terrier as a distinct and separate breed, acknowledging the differences between the two breeds. Number 34. These dogs are known as dual registered, which means they are registered simultaneously as American Staffordshire Terriers in the AKC and as American Pit Bull Terriers in the UKC. Number 35. The American Pit Bull Terrier consists of various bloodlines, each with its unique history and focus. Some originated from professional dog fighting, emphasizing tenacity and strength, while others were developed for confirmation shows prioritizing breed standards. Number 36. In an attempt to address the negative reputation associated with pit bull type dogs, the San Francisco Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals took a unique approach in 1996 by renaming them St. Francis Terriers. The hope was that this rebranding would encourage more people to adopt these dogs. Around 60 temperament screen dogs were successfully adopted through this program until it was discontinued. Number 37. A long-standing debate revolves around whether the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier, also known as Amstaff should be considered as two distinct breeds or as a single breed. Over the past decades, Pit Bull and Amstaff breeders have pursued distinct goals resulting in dogs with noticeable differences in both physical traits and temperament. Number 38. In the early 20th century, pit bulls played various roles in America. They served as cattle dogs for semi-wild cattle and hogs, helped in hunting hogs, and were utilized as working dogs to drive livestock. Additionally, they became beloved family companions. Number 39. In 2004, the New York City Center for Animal Care and Control experimented with a similar approach by renaming their pit bulls as New Yorkies. However, they faced strong public opposition to this rebranding effort, and as a result, they decided to abandon the idea. Number 40. Since 2015, the American Dog Breeders Association, an organization that has been registering the American Pit Bull Terrier since 1909, officially recognizes the American Staffordshire Terrier as a distinct and separate breed. Number 41. Over time, Pit Bull Terriers continue to adapt to various roles. Today, they serve as loyal companion dogs, versatile working dogs, participate in athletic sports like weight pulling and French ring sport, and even work as police dogs. Number 42. Furthermore, law enforcement organizations have reported that these dogs are sometimes employed for other unlawful purposes. This includes using them as guards for illegal narcotics operations, deploying them against law enforcement officers, and utilizing them as attack dogs in various criminal 
criminal activities. Number 43, a lot of different countries, including the UK, Brazil, Australia, and several others have implemented breed-specific legislation regarding pit bull type dogs, which includes American pit bull terriers. These regulations can range from bans to ownership restrictions and even mandates for sterilization in some places like New South Wales, Australia. Number 44, these dogs usually have litters of around 5 to 6 puppies on average. However, Tippy, a remarkable pit bull, defied the norm by giving birth to an extraordinary litter of 16 healthy puppies on 1st of April 2000, highlighting the breed's potential for larger litters in certain cases. Number 45, the American pit bull breed typically ranges in price from $2,500 to $5,000. Other expensive breeds you might encounter are the American Staffordshire Terrier and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. In comparison, though, the American pit Pitbull Terrier tends to be more affordable. Number 46. American Pitbull Terriers have gained a reputation for being strong dogs with the potential to deliver a forceful bite of 240 to 330 psi. However, they generally have a bite force that is less powerful compared to breeds like Rottweilers or German Shepherds. Number 47. In 2014, new evidence emerged regarding the ban on pit bulls in Ontario, Canada. This evidence indicated a notable decrease in dog bites involving pit bull types in Toronto as their population declined due to the ban. Number 48. The idea of these dogs having locking jaws is indeed a myth and has no factual basis. These dogs do not possess anatomical features that would allow their jaws to lock. When this dog bites and doesn't let go, it's a behavioral response rather than a physical characteristic. Number 49. It's important to recognize that while American pit bull terriers may have been historically bred for dog fighting, their innate tendencies should not be generalized to every individual. Like all dogs, their behavior is influenced by factors such as genetics, upbringing, training, and socialization. Number 50. American Pit Bull Terriers have proven to be highly versatile and capable in various dog sports and activities. They excel in weight pulling, dog agility, fly ball, lure coursing, and advanced obedience competitions, showcasing their agility, strength, and intelligence. Remarkably, out of the 115 dogs that have achieved UKC Super Dog status, 34 of them have been American Pit Bull Terriers. Number 51. In both First and Second World Wars, propaganda posters were abundant. Often, these posters featured dogs adorned in American colors and regalia, with the American Pit Bull Terrier being a common choice for such depictions. Artists used them in posters to symbolize these qualities, aiming to inspire patriotism and unity among the population and convey important messages during wartime. Number 52. Popsicle, an American Pit Bull Terrier employed as a sniffer dog for U.S. Customs, achieved a remarkable feat at the Hidalgo, Texas port of entry. Popsicle's keen nose detected a substantial quality of illegal drugs, leading to the discovery of the largest amount of illicit substances ever attempted to be smuggled into the U.S. Number 53. Caninus was a unique grindcore band featuring an American Pit Bull Terrier as its front woman. The band's two lead singers were female pit bulls named Budgie and Basil, who delivered their vocals through barking. In a fascinating collaboration, Caninus even released a split EP with another band called Hate Beak, which featured an African parrot as the vocalist. Number 54. The renowned rapper Snoop Dogg's affection for the breed is evident, as he once maintained a kennel of 20 pit bulls while residing in Claremont, California. Number 55. Photographer Sophie Gammond captured the softer and more endearing side of pit bulls by photographing them with soft pastel colors and floral crowns. This unique combination of gentle-looking dogs and beautiful flowers creates an irresistible and heartwarming portrayal of these pups. Number 56. Several iconic canine characters such as Petey from The Little Rascals, Nipper from RCA, and Tides from Buster Brown Shoes were American pit bulls. These beloved dogs played prominent roles in pop culture and left lasting impressions on audience. Alright guys, now which of these American Pitbull Terrier facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.